35,000 bucks. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? I think I should answer that. There is one thing to have a man, and there's another thing for the man to be able to protect you, provide for you, and cherish you. So there's this interviewer, it's a very popular interviewer. I do see his videos come up on TikTok. So he saw a couple, you know, on the streets and he tried to interview them. Asking like, how long have you guys been together? You know, oh, a wedding ring, how much does it cost? And the man said, mm, just about 35,000. And he asked the lady that if he got you a wedding ring or an engagement ring for $35,000, what are you giving him in return? The audacity of the question, like, why would you ask a question? Why does why why do a woman have to bring something to the table? Why do you have to, why does relationship have to be transactional? I don't get it, and that's what today's video is all about. Let me roll the clip for you all to watch to the end, and I'll come back and talk about it. How long have you been together? Four and a half years. No, five now. Well, yeah, I guess five now. Five years. Yeah. How much did you spend on our wedding ring? I mean, show it. I mean, go ahead. It's a decent amount, so if you look up like a three carat diamond, it's a decent amount I spent on her, but she deserves even more. Numbers wise, what are we talking? I mean, how much was it? 35k? 35k, yeah. 35,000 bucks. Yeah. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? I think I should answer that. <laughs> so I, I, I get a partner that's loyal, I get the mother of my children. I get the most beautiful woman that I've ever, you know, been around and the most important thing is how she treats me and how she treats my family and how she treats her family. So for me, I have a partner for life and it's worth every investment there is. Okay. But a lot of people would say you could have the same thing without dropping 35k in a ring. You, you could. And, and money's not an issue. Like, if you can get a cheap ring and it's the person that's for you, whatever. But it also depends on how much you make, so. Hey, beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Maria Davids and I'm back again with another interesting video. You all just, like, let's just give it up for that man. I love the way he actually protected her. Because that question the interviewer asked her, that was directing the question to her, was very annoying very very annoying and he was he stood and was like i'm going to answer that she's loyal she's she's going to be the mother of my children i've got a best partner for life you know those things are not what money can buy but the interviewer was seeing the fact that if this man can spend at five thousand bucks on your head what are you bringing to the table? And that's what today's conversation is all about. There are some men that see relationship transactional. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of them out there. It's just few men that are like this particular man that answered this question. Just few of them. And I have interesting stories to share with you. People had to contribute to this particular um, topic and everything. I'd like to know your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section. So let's watch the stitches together. He spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get it? This is exactly what I mean when I say never settle. I am not talking about getting somebody to buy you a $30,000 ring, but rather a partner that will not let anybody, especially not a stranger, ever question your worth. Yeah. The way this guy wasn't going to let the interviewer disrespect his wife is just. What does he, what does get, he in get in return? return? I think I should actually answer that. <laughs> so I, I, I get it. I get it. If you haven't, if you haven't watched, watched that video, video please, please watch it. But I cut it just, just when, when this interviewer, interviewer asked, asked the man, what do you what bring, do you bring, to, bring the to the table, to the wife? wife. And, and I just, I just love, love how the husband, husband interjected and was like, I will answer that actually. And I will let you know the value that she brings to me. I'm not going to let her... I'm not gonna I'm let not you gonna embarrass, you embarrass her, her and have her, her prove her worth, worth to you, to a stranger. You a stranger. Yeah. Like, like, I just made I just a video, video on this, this but, but this is this why, is why girls, it's, it's so important not, not, not just go just after, after the provider, provider but, go but go after the, after the protector, protector as, well. as well. It's not, it's not good, good enough to have a 
a golden golden retriever retriever type energy energy man man who cannot cannot protect protect you. you. And it's not not protecting protecting in the sense of, of, oh my goodness, if there's a threat threat on the street, street, he's going to be able to defend me. Of course, that's important. But I'm talking about protecting your honor. Okay? Like, is a man going to allow you to get embarrassed? Because I'm telling you right now, that, that would, be, would be, I know I it's, know it's, I already know it's like the like biggest, biggest turn off, turn off. For, a for a lot of men, but I know that, that would be the end for me at that point. point. Like, like you, if you were able, able to stand, stand next, next to me and not, not defend, defend me, me or pretty much, pretty much check, check the man, the man that's, that's trying me, what the heck is going on? That is the best question. Anyway. Anyway. So, so, like I like said, I said wa- or, or if I didn't say somebody, please watch, please watch the video, the video because you're going to get full context. context. Okay. okay. But, but it's not it's enough to get a provider. I'm sorry. It's not enough to have a man who's dominant and who truly is not afraid to have a backbone, like who has that assertiveness and is not afraid to flex and to check those men that want to disrespect you, even if it's not intentional. Like, I'm sure this interviewer guy that this is part of his... Like, like work, work and livelihood, so, so he has to, has to kind of make this controversial, controversial content, content anyway. anyway. But, but uh, uh, if, if you, you were caught, caught in between, between a man who's just super sweet and super, sweet and super cute, and cute and kind and, kind and, whatever, and whatever, but he, but he is, is unwilling, unwilling and you've experienced it before, he's unwilling, unwilling to actually, actually stand, stand up for you, that to me is an absolute loss. So I hope this is a learning for girls. Man, not much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? I don't like that interviewer because anytime I see him, he's implying that relationships are strictly transactional. And when you have that thought process, it'll immediately fail. I'm very happy that boyfriend stepped in. He said, I get a wife. I get somebody to spend my life with. I get a mother to my kids because relationships now, they're not built on love. It's built on what can you do for me if I do this? That's crazy. He spent 35 on a ring and he said, so what? Get your get money, your money up. up. When a man, when loves, a man woman, loves a woman, that money that does money not matter, especially, especially if he's, he's making, making it. 35 k might mean something, something to bros, bro's interviewer. 35K, 35K seems light, light to, him. to him. He says he nothing says needs nothing to be transactional. Transaction. She, she just needs to be the best. best. Mother, Mother, wife, and I found my soulmate. I love her. That's enough. Too many people in this generation look at relationships and business deals. Like I'm sitting across from an investor. Like I'm a shark on Shark Tank, what are you going to do for me? That's not how relationships should be built. They need to be built on love. When you look at them, it's transactional. They'll never work. They'll always fail. I don't like that interview. I'm glad he kind of got checked today. It's a decent amount. So if you look up like a three-carat diamond, it's a decent amount I spent on her. But she deserves even more. Numbers-wise, what are we talking? I mean, how much are we? 35K? Thirty-five thousand bucks. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you, as a gesture. What does he get in return? I think I should answer. Some guys might not like this take, but I like how this gentleman steps up for his wife. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like how the interviewer. I don't want to say attack the wife, but even question the wife and said, in this situation, what do you bring to the table? Because that's not for you to judge. If you was going to ask that question to anybody, you should have just directed the question to him. You already asked him how much he spent. And the only reason you even brought up that woman's value and or even questioned it is because you heard that dollar amount of 35000 Why can't we just say, oh, wow, congratulations. Well, well, what did she what do did for you? What did you see in her? her? What mm-hmm. what did she what bring did she out of you? You, you can you ask those inciting, inciting questions to him without, without trying, trying to put, put the spotlight, spotlight on that woman and low key try to embarrass her. And embarrass her embarrass her is being a little dramatic. Yeah. But I'm not gonna lie, I can understand why the ladies love this take. As a gesture, what does he get in return? I think I should answer that. That video has already been stitched to death. I just wanna add one very simple, simple thing. A person that really likes you, that is really, 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 really into, into you, that's going to move mountains for you, for you. they are they never, never, and I repeat, never, repeat, never going, going to ask you, ask you what do you bring to the, the table. table. And if they and do, they turn, do around turn around and around because they're not they're interested, not interested in, in a relationship, in relationship with, you. with you. They're interested, they're interested in the in transaction. transaction. He spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? Dudes often have this problem where we see relationships and marriage, especially as transactional, where we spent money on a ring, therefore you owe us something. What? I don't know. What? What does she owe you? Who cares? 
You know? What's the deal? You know? Do you want real advice? Do you, do you expect certain things out of the relationship? Because if you expect certain things out of the relationship, you need to have that conversation at the start of it. Because if you don't, and those needs aren't met, or there was once, really, then you're going to be disappointed because the transaction was not completed, even though you did not propose the transaction in the first place. But also, relationships aren't transactions. Stop asking these stupid fucking questions. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What a this is why I say don't argue your standards. Don't negotiate your worth. The broke will always want you to be on sale. The interview can't even fathom someone spending $35,000 on a person. And that's why he turns and asks, what does he get in return? Frankly, I find that very disrespectful. How long have you been together? Four and a half years. No, five now. Well, yeah, I guess five now. Five years. I don't know when Tyler who needs to hear this, but what's in it for me mindset is going to keep a lot of people single. Because ultimately, human beings aren't like a business opportunity where you're seeking, you know, the greatest ROI. No. And I really enjoyed, if you watched the video in full, that the gentleman was like, you know, she exhibits qualities I want in a forever partner. She, I want her to be the mother of my children. She supports me. I support her. And ultimately, you want to see each other do well. And that us versus them mentality is only going to just keep a lot of people unhappy and just chasing things that just aren't realistic. If you notice, a lot of people who are spewing this rhetoric traditionally aren't in happy relationships. I'm just saying. Before I keep going, please hit the follow button for more. And ultimately, a lot of us are just looking for that person out there that we can support through thick and through thin. And of course, people who are in financial different situations will be playing on a different playground than, you know, others. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Just play where you can. That's all. He spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he get in return? Our backstory here is that that guy bought his girlfriend a $35,000 engagement ring. So then the interviewer turns to her and asks her, like, okay, he just spent this money on you. What's in it for him? There's actually a lot to learn here from this video. That question actually kind of encapsulates the problem with the way young men are viewing women in this day and age, at least in the United States. So that notion that like, oh, what are you bringing to the table? What, like, what are you doing for him? Like the answer is obvious. And actually this kid, this young guy here articulates it really well. He jumps in and defends her and starts giving this litany of uh, attributes that she brings to the table. She's beautiful. She's going to be the mother of his children. She's a faithful friend, a partner. Like, duh, that's what the fuck you're getting. Like, there's nothing like more that a woman needs to bring to the table because just in her very essence, in her energy, you can be lifted up into being a much, much better man. And for women, again, if you're looking for a long-term partner, you need to understand, like, what are all of the most important attributes? Like, this guy, I don't know, I'm sure there's a more handsome guy out there, a guy in better shape. But you know what? He has a lot of really strong attributes. The way he views um, her, just generally speaking, the way he's willing to provide for her, defend her. Like, this guy's got a lot of good stuff going on, even though he might not be, you know, the best-looking guy on the block. So he spent that much on a wedding ring for you as a gesture. What does he... His question is ironic in that the reason that she got a ring is because she already provided something. Seems pretty obvious, but her fiancé did a great job of illustrating that for him. Within that particular context, the question um, really just implies a devaluation of women. It is an unanswerable question. And it honestly feels deeply inappropriate, especially in this context. The fact that he felt comfortable making that statement is interesting. <laughs> so he spent that much on a wedding ring for you. As a judge. So y'all know normally I do not stitch videos, but this needs to be addressed because I just had this conversation this past week and black men are so used to their mothers doing everything for them, for everyone else and getting absolutely nothing in return. That's how they act. They act like you have to bring something to the table. Black people are the only ones who have this debate. Like what? 
Get it, get it, get it together. Get it together. Honestly, Honestly, once, once you, you get into certain, certain positions, positions, levels in, levels in life, life, you'll, you'll realize, realize a lot of a lot men of that you're around, around don't, don't care. care. They build they the table, baby. They don't care. They want you. That's what they want. They want you because they see the type of woman you are. You're going to add value to their life regardless. And black men think value is just monetary. Not all black men. Let me just say that because I love my black kings. But, yeah. If you're still here, definitely you're enjoying this video. Thank you so much for sticking around to this point. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and comment your thoughts down in the comment section. See, in this channel, eh, you can either agree or disagree. It's okay for you to disagree. It's okay for you to agree. Just put your thoughts down in the comment section respectfully. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. So personally, I love, as I said at the beginning of this video, I love the way the man undoed the old thing. I love the way it, you can see the way it's protecting and like she hardly even talk. In fact, ugh, men like that, they are rare. Unlike some, unlike some of them, unlike some other men that do expect you, okay, I've bought you that $5,000 ring. What are you going to do for me? You have to, you have to be my slave. You have to slave for the money. You will work for that at five thousand. If it was someone like that particular interviewer that bought his girlfriend or his fiance that particular ring, she will see Shege. Shege, she will see. <laughs> she will be the slave that she has never been before. <laughs> but to be honest, why does relationship must be transactional? Sometimes there are some things money, a lot of things money cannot buy that even people that have the money when they see your worth in you they can spend their last money and he, he did another interview there was another clip that the man shared how he proposed to her like she was just so beautiful you can you will really tell that this man is a very good person from the interview Sha, he's, he's one of the best one of one of them he's one of them and it's just very beautiful to watch and to see as a man protected is called his babe from embarrassing question what do you bring to the table why do i have to bring something to the table why <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and of course i'll see you all in my next one bye